Hi everyone, this is Anna Finch from Finch Press Publishing. I hope everyone has had a safe holidays. Now, today's video is actually a product review for Ryder. What I'll be reviewing is called Shakespeare. It's similar to Scrivener in that you can compile and write your novels on there and short stories and non-fiction text. You can write it on there and it will compile it for you into a complete manuscript. So you can create files, folders for a particular piece of work, have separate files for sections, chapters, different parts. Now this has less features than Scrivener. It is very basic to you. It is made for writers so you can compile manuscripts. So you can write it all in one and just click and rather unlike Microsoft Word where you have to scroll down to find your chapter, you can create your folder, create the file for the manuscript and you will have um, each, sep each chapter is a separate file in that one Thing, you press it and you can see on your screen that particular chapter and you can go through and click on it to change chapters if, you, if you're working on different chapters and different scenes so it's you don't have to go scrolling for it and finding it which is a plus it is free to download and use this is the basic version not the pro version there are two versions of shape so regardless of which one you use when you download it you download it for free so you create an account on shakespeare so you use your email you create a password and it basically means that when you download it you log in using that email and password on your actual laptop or desktop and you open it and it's safe whatever you've got in there is safe so it can be used online and offline but when it's online, when you're using it with the internet, it can save it on a, like a iCloud or... When you download Shakespeare, you, once you first create your account and download it, you get 30 days for free to use the Shakespeare Pro. Now, Shakespeare Pro has more features than the normal Shakespeare, so Shakespeare for everyone. Um, so the Shakespeare Pro version includes manuscript builder, world building notebook, margin comments, concept art, you can add your own, spell check, basic linguistics, um, you can set goals and progress tracking, it's available to use on Windows and Mac, not iPad, Mac, so MacBook and Mac as in the desktop. It's available offline and on cloud, you can export to HTML, Word, um, EPUB is with the pro version only and you've got a few other features if you um, decide you don't want to continue with the pro these are the features you lose so um, you lose the ability to export to EPUB so an actual ebook format you lose the ability to activate the prose craft section of the Shakespeare art now I've I used it maybe once when I had the free access. It basically analyzes your writing in it, tell, it compares the vividness, adverb use, the passive voice, um, emotional story arc to other texts. So if you're writing a fantasy text, it will compare it to things like Harry Potter. So it will compare it to other texts and it'll compare your use of certain words and phrases with the other texts. And you also use, lose the ability to access the emotional story arc analysis. So this basically analyzes your use of positive and negative words um, so you can see how you've been writing and this feature is interesting but not necessary I mean you've got basic you, you keep a basic access to the emotional use of words so positive negative so when you click on like spell check and that it will actually highlight words that are spelled incorrectly but also words that are that have strong positive or negative or even neutral emotions so you can analyze your writing yourself so you don't really need the emotional story arc you can analyze it yourself you can tell what sort of emotions you got you're seeing in your writing you they also have include this is new this wasn't available when i got it but automatic pop-up thesaurus now this is with the pro version only you can sync across mac and pc computers and you can use it across multiple devices so if you work on a desktop at home but you work on a mac um, when you go and work, type in a cafe, you can actually sync it. So whatever you write on the Shakespeare program on the Mac will automatically appear on the desktop. It syncs automatically, which is a feature not available in Scrivener. Scrivener, you need to connect to uh, Dropbox. So your files from the Mac on Scrivener, 
you put them in the Dropbox automatically and then from there you connect it to your PC and you download it onto your PC. You can lose files like that. That's the one thing that makes it better than Scrivener. Automatic transfer of files and syncing across computers. Access version history. So you can actually compare different drafts. So you can you can click on a button where it says past version history and you can see that particular chapter. Um, what one ver version was, what another version was. And you can actually see the changes you've made. You can custom themes. So when you're writing the style or even the background color. So if you work better with a darker background and white writing, you can do that. Um, rather than just a typical white screen with black writing if you prefer the darker screen because for whatever reason then you've got that available to you I don't know if that's available in Scrivener but I know it's available in the Shakespeare Pro the program is easy to use and navigate you can write fiction, non-fiction, stories, poems whatever you can put your mind to um, it's easy to compile everything into a document now, some of the downsides. There isn't a version that can go on an iPad. From what I can tell, from what I, I've read, they don't intend to make a version to go on the iPad. Um, so if you're like me and your laptop is very old and heavy, like a brick, um, you can't take it to a cafe and work on it, but you can use an iPad instead. In those situations, you can't use that program on the iPad. I actually, during NaNoWriMo, when I took my iPad to work on my stories, I had to use Google Docs and then copy what I had in Google Docs back into Shakespeare when I got back home. If you write scripts, now this program might not be for you. Now, even though you can write scripts in this, it doesn't have a special special feature. So you, the I know from in Scrivener, you've got a program where you can actually just click um, and create a script manuscript and it will be set out specifically like a script. In Shakespeare, if you're writing a script, you're basically doing the formatting yourself for it. You, there's no, like, it's mainly for novels and like story-based writing and not script. If you use multiple devices, then you have to have the pro version. You can't use the Shakespeare for everyone, which is free. So you download, keep Shakespeare um, for everyone and use it for free, the, sh the basic one. If you use Mac and PC or you work on multiple devices then you need to get the pro version now downside is you pay eight dollars a month now I don't know if this is American dollars or Australian dollars but it says eight dollars so um, I'm assuming because it's an American program it's American dollars so for me it'd be about 12 Australian dollars and that's if the, the dollar is high um, and that's paid per month so it's not a one-off fee it's paid per month that's the biggest downside with Scrivener you can you can try it out for free and you pay a one-off fee and it's yours you've got the license and you can use it however you want with this if you want the pro version you have to pay every month eight bucks if it's an American dollars or 12 bucks if it's an Australian I believe the main positive thing with Shakespeare is that it, you can sync automatically it automatically syncs for it you don't need Dropbox um, if you're just starting out this program can be good for you especially if you can't afford or you don't want to pay money for Scrivener if you want to use a writing program um, to compile the documents for you um, then this can work for you um, especially if you're just starting out it's because it's completely free if you don't get the pro version um, if you do script writing or if you're looking for more features then Scrivener is probably better if you can't afford the full price for Scrivener or for the uh, Scrivener one where it's you can get the deal for Mac and PC the iPad version of Scrivener is paid separate you can wait until NaNoWriMo if you participate in NaNoWriMo, you automatically get 20% off. If you win NaNoWriMo, so this is, you meet the 50,000 word goal and it's validated in, especially, I think they're, they're doing validation next year. So if you get that 50k goal, then you can get 50% off. So you can get 50% off the Scrivener price. So if it's $80 for the, the combination of Mac and PC version, you pay 40 which is generally the price of one. Overall, Shakespeare as a writing program 
is a decent piece of software. It's free, it's easy to use, especially if you're just starting out. I'm currently using Shakespeare. I don't really need the extra features of Scrivener. Um, I'm not interested in script writing or some of the other extra features to do with the notes and world building stuff. I do most of like the world building and write it out by hand. But as I'm working on a novel with my brother, I find that I may need to change to Scrivener simply so we can use the same program and he can access it and see it. But at the moment, even though we're working together, I don't really need it. We're just working and using my Mac for that. The reason is it will be cheaper than pay. It will be cheaper to get Scrivener. That's the only reason why I'm considering Scrivener, moving to Scrivener is that overall it will be cheaper to get Scrivener and pay one fee and I can use it on my Mac, PC and iPad than having to pay per month. That is the only reason why I may be considering to move. Anyway, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, press the like button down below. If, if you would like to be notified of when I upload, press the subscribe button below. Thank you for listening. See you next time.